Hello, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to discuss on chapter 1 physical quantities and measurements. So before we start, please click on the link below at the comment to get the PDF file. Okay, so let's start with the first 1.1. Okay, physical quantities is defined as quantities which can be measured. It can be categorized into two types. The first one is basic quantities or base quantities, which the quantity cannot be derived from any physical quantities. And the second types will be derived quantity as the quantity which can be expressed in terms of base quantities, meaning that the combination from base quantities. 1.1 dimensions of physical quantities. So, dimension is defined as the technique or the method which the physical quantities can be expressed in terms of the combinations of the basic quantities. So, we can write the symbol of the square bracket. Okay, if let's say you want to find the dimension. So, here we have several types of the basic quantities. For mass, Dimension for mass, the symbol is M. Dimension for length is capital L. Dimension for time is capital T. Dimension for electric current is capital I. Dimension for temperature is theta. Dimension for amount of substance is capital N. And the dimension of luminous intensity is capital J. Okay, so this is uh, something new where you haven't learned before during the secondary school. Okay, of course, you must also know what is the unit SI for the mass. Okay, so unit SI for mass is kg, for length is meter, for time is second, for electric current is ampere, and for temperature is Kelvin. For amount of substance is small, and the luminous intensity is chandelier. Okay. So we continue with the exercise. The first question here is the velocity. When the dimension for velocity, we can write it as the change of the displacement over change of time. Okay, so S is displacement is the measurement of the length. Okay, so dimension for the length or displacement is capital L, dimension for time is capital T. Okay, therefore, we write dimension for V is Lt negative 1. Okay, so remember, we can write dimension for V is equal to Lt negative 1. Okay, remember, you cannot write square bracket Lt negative 1. Why? Because the square bracket indicate that dimension. So, dimension of the dimension does not bring any meaning. So bear in mind, you cannot write a square bracket inside the dimension because it's actually wrong. And also, you also cannot write me unit inside the square bracket. Okay, so this is also the wrong method. Okay, so the correct method is dimension for V is straight away equals to Lt negative 1. Okay, so meaning that this is a dimension for the velocity. Okay, number 2 is the volume. Okay, volume is length times width times height. Okay, so it's L times L times L is L cubed. Okay, acceleration is the change of the velocity over change of the time. Okay, therefore, the dimension for acceleration is equal to Lt negative 2. Okay, next we continue. Density. Okay, density is mass per volume. Okay. So, mass is capital M, volume is L cubed. Therefore, the dimension for the density is equal to ML negative 3. Okay, momentum is equal to mass times velocity. Where mass is capital M, velocity is LT negative 1. Okay, so this is the dimension for momentum. And continue with the force. Force equals to MA, where M is capital M, A is the acceleration, so it's equal to LT negative 2. 
Okay, continue. Okay, work. Work is equal to force times the displacement, where force is equal to mLT negative 2 because force equals to ma. Okay, or you can write, okay, you can also write work equals to force times s. Okay, and also force we can change it become ma times the displacement. Okay, then m is equal to capital M. Acceleration is equal to LT negative 2 and displacement is equal to L. Therefore, the dimension for work is ML square T negative 2. Okay, last one is power, where power is equal to work done over time taken, where work done is equal to ML square T negative 2 over time. Okay. After that, we can simplify it and the final answer for the dimension of the power will equal to ml squared t negative 3. Okay. Okay, next we will continue dimensionary analysis. Dimensionary analysis is used to check mathematical relation for the consistency of their dimension based on the principle of homogeneity. Meaning that we want to check okay, that all terms appearing on both sides of an equation must have the same dimension. Okay, meaning that dimension on left hand side must equal to dimension on your left hand side. Okay, both sides must have equal dimension, an equal symbol. Okay, and please bear in mind that dimension cannot be added. Okay, and also cannot be subtracted. Okay, you cannot add it and cannot be subtracted. The validity of the equation cannot be determined by dimension analysis but only obtained from the theory or be determined by the experiment. Okay, number E. Okay, this one you must highlight. Okay, where dimension of dimensionless constant is equal to 1. For example, dimension of 2 is equal to 1 eh? because 2, no unit. Okay, dimension for refractive index is equal to 1 eh? because refractive index, no unit. Dimension for angle also equal to 1. Okay, dimension for ratio of two quantities having the same dimension. So for example, Strength equation is equal to change of the length over original length. Okay, L over L you will get 1. Okay, because both of them are having the same dimension. Eh? Change of the length or extension is L, original length also L. So both are having same dimension. So cancel off each other. Therefore, the dimension for strength is equal to 1. Okay. Okay, next, dimension analysis is unable to determine if there is incorrect coefficient, missing term or extra term in any physical quantities. Okay. Determine whether this equation is dimensionally correct or not. Meaning that V equals to U plus A T. Here we have three terms. On our left hand side, we have one term. On our right hand side, we have another two term. Okay, so in order to check whether this equation is dimensionally correct, okay, we must do it one by one. So we start with left hand side. Dimension for final velocity is equal to LT negative 1. And on our right hand side, we have two terms, uh, u and also a t. u is the initial velocity where initial velocity dimension is l t negative 1. For the third term, a t, dimension for a is l t negative 2, dimension for t is a time, so dimension for t is t. 
Okay, if we simplify, we will get LT negative 1. Okay, so if you observe here, on our left hand side, we have LT negative 1, right hand side also LT negative 1, LT negative 1. Meaning that these three terms are having the same dimension. So we can write dimension for left hand side is equal to dimension on right hand side. Therefore, is dimensionary correct? Okay, or we can write homogeneous. Okay, so this is how you check uh, for both sides. Okay, so that's all for 1.1. Please click on the link on the top right corner to continue with the subtopic 1.2. Thank you. See you on next video. Bye.